Judy Deloche, focuses on cognitive development in older children, especially how they understand symbols. The symbol is something that stands for something else. A symbol tells you about something other than itself. Now, symbolic ability is probably the main characteristic that sets human beings apart from other creatures. So one of the main developmental tasks for a young child is to start acquiring symbol systems. Children have to learn to speak, they eventually learn to read, and so forth. Now what I'm looking at is the acquisition of a very early kind of symbolic understanding, and this is the child's understanding of a scale model. Understanding that this model that I showed the child, which looks like a little playroom, looks like a little doll's house, uh, what I'm looking at is the child's understanding that this model represents something else, that it represents or stands for or is a symbol for a larger space, uh, a, a larger room that corresponds to this model. Okay, Charlotte, here's big Snoopy. Here's little Snoopy. I'm going to hide little Snoopy here in his little room, okay? You watch where I hide him. Now watch, I'm hiding him right there. The subject Little here right is two-and-a-half-year-old okay. Charlotte. Now, I'm going to go hide big Snoopy in the same place in his big room, okay? And, and you wait right here, okay? You wait right here. I'm going to go hide big Snoopy. Okay, Charlotte, can you come find big Snoopy? Remember, Big Snoopy's hiding in the same place in his room where Little Snoopy's hiding. Where is Big Snoopy? No. Remember, Big Snoopy's in the same place where Little Snoopy's hiding. Yeah, where is he hiding? Can you find him? He's in the same place Little Snoopy is. You know, I think he's back there somewhere. Let's just see if you can find him back there. Oh, look again. Did you find him? Good girl. There he is. There's Snoopy. Okay. Marielle is three years Marielle. old. Look, here's big Snoopy. And here's his friend, little Snoopy. I'm going to hide little Snoopy here in his little room, okay? Now you watch while I hide little Snoopy. And I'm hiding him right there, okay? He's hiding here. Now, I'm going to take Big Snoopy, and I'm going to take Big Snoopy and hide him in the same place in his big room, okay? You wait right here while I go hide Big Snoopy. Okay. Here I go. Okay, Mario, Big Snoopy's hiding. Remember, he's hiding in the same place in his big room where little Snoopy is. Can you find him? Come find Big Snoopy. Let's see where he is. Good girl. You found him, didn't you? He likes that. He likes for you to find him. Now, can you go find little Snoopy? Where's little Snoopy? Let's find him. Good girl, Marielle. You knew right where he was. Good for you. So when you see a child going from just really not understanding something, a few weeks later, a few months later, showing almost full comprehension of it, then you're so aware of the developmental process, and you're aware that children have this enormous amount to learn, and things that we just take for granted. The kids in there thinking about it, working on it all the time, trying to, trying to work these things out, trying to figure out how the world operates. Uh, the two-year-old's a very busy person cognitively. In fact, I think it's probably uh, safe to say that a two-year-old thinks more than you or I think because they have so much more to figure out.